Okay, let us copy this problem. Okay, so this acid is called a squaric acid and this says this acid is very basically very strong acid. This ionizes completely something like H2S4 and this gives 2H plus. It can lose 1H plus from here. It can also lose 1H plus from here. This says it can lose 2H plus and this ionizes completely something like H2S4. So this is as strong as H2SO4, this compound is ascoric acid is as strong as H2SO4 because H2SO4 can also lose 2H+. This compound can also lose H2H+. Now using the resonance, you have to tell me why this ascoric acid is so acidic. So use the resonance theory to explain why this is so acidic. Now I will give you a hint. What you do is, you first release 2H+, and then make a dianion. This means uh, this oxygen will have a negative charge and uh, this oxygen will have a negative charge you will have a dianion and you start writing the resonating uh, structure you will write you will be able to write four equivalent resonating uh, structure and you will write another resonating uh, structure that is aromatic so you write five resonating uh, structure among these five resonating uh, structure four will be equivalent and the fifth one will be aromatic that is very very stable so fifth one is very stable because of the aromaticity and four one will, will be equivalent so let us five resonating a structure of a dianion so you make negative charge here make negative charge here and let us write five resonating a structure let me see how many of you are able to write i will give you one minute time let us say one and a half minute So you flow the arrow and then you will get the 5 resonating structure. 4 will be equivalent and the 5th one will be aromatic. Aromatic with 2 electron. So 2 system, 2 pi electron. You will have 2 pi electron and 2 plus charge. That is enough hint. You will have 2 pi electron and 2 plus charge. Okay, let's discuss the solution of this question. So, you see, what we can make is, if I lose this H plus and this H plus, I will make this dianion. So, this minus this minus with 2 H plus. So, this is acting as a dibasic acid because it's losing 2 H plus. And now, let us start writing the resonating uh, structure. So, what we can do is, this goes here and this goes here. Are you getting? Uh, I cannot have it here. So, let us fast write. So, this goes here and this goes here and this goes here. If you want, you can write this one also. This goes here and this goes here. So let us first start writing this. Uh, the same thing you will have. Let us do this. This goes this 
and same time I will have a double bond here this goes here are you getting and this goes here if you do this you will have this resonating structure let us call this a 1 this is a 2 now next now you see hint here you have you have two oxygen negative charge so you have four oxygen either you can choose these two oxygen for negative charge or these two oxygen can be negative charge or these two oxygen can be negatively charged or these two oxygen can be negatively charged there is a four structure you will have so now you have the idea so what can you do is you do this here this goes here and this goes here so you will have this resonating structure the third one are you getting or not so this means initially I have these two negative charges now these two are negatively charged and now these two are negatively charged are you getting and now if I flow one more so this is third one if I flow from here to here so I think I have flown from this this to this so 2 to 3 this is 3 are you getting so if you flow this this goes here this will go here so this is 3 this is not 4 this is 3 and this is 4 so this is 4 this is 3 so if you translate this arrow you will get this because you will have negative charge on oxygen this oxygen double bond between this and you have a double bond here so initially you have these two oxygen negatively charged now you have these two oxygen negatively charged now you have these two oxygen negatively charged these two next if you flow something like this uh, you can have this this goes here this goes here so you will have these two are negatively charged so let us uh, copy these four resonating structures basically these four resonating structures are equivalent because all contains two oxygens are there that contains negative charge so these are equivalent resonating structures and the fourth one is easy if you flow this arrow this side fifth one basically and flow this arrow this side but you will get you will get aromatic compound so let us copy this one and then I will go down so if you flow all this you will have something like this so now you see this compound there is a positive charge because you have flown this through oxygen so oxygen will get negative charge this oxygen will also get negative charge this will positive this will positive so 2 plus you will have now this compound becomes aromatic because you have 2 pi system so this is aromatic and this is also in conjugation all carbons are sp2 iodized so this is aromatic and that's why this is very stable and that drives the reaction are you getting so this compound becomes aromatic and that's why this reaction this is this becomes very very acidic due to the aromaticity aromaticity gives a high stability we have already discussed in the class due to the aromaticity system becomes very very stable this can be discussed on the basis of molecular orbital diagram as well as on the basis of delocalization of electron cloud so if you have a system is aromatic electron clouds are fully delocalized that's why system becomes very very stable so this is a stable due to the four two reason one four equivalent resonating structure and one resonating structure that is aromatic so there are two driving force two stabilizing force fact you have in this case Have you copied this one? Not yet. Let us do fast. I have, go, I have to go for the next problem. you can write yourself there is no point of basically uh, copying if you understand you can write yourself
if you want you can write resonating a structure of, of for this aromatic cation you can always write you see if you flow this side you will have positive charge here again flow so you can write resonating a structure for this aromatic ion and prove that all carbon gets positive charge you can prove this one just flow the arrow you will get the four i don't know how many resonating a structure you will get but you can try how many resonating a structure you getting i think four you will get let us try okay we will do the next problem you try at home this one 